would be very surprised if this isn't broken inside because it looks like it's had better days. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is another Shein homeware video because you guys seem to really like these. I've done a couple of Shein homeware videos in the last couple of months, obviously with like being in lockdown and stuff. I felt like I needed to kind of spruce up the house here and there. So for today's video, I picked up a whole giant box of homeware stuff and that's ranging from decorations, pillowcases, literally like kitchen gadgets, all kinds of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and get to kind of see what's on Shein and what the quality is like for homeware stuff. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. By the way, if you guys are wondering where my cardigan and like my outfit in general is from, I actually posted a H&M haul as my previous video. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys check it out. But anyway, let's crack into my massive box of goodies. I've actually put two orders in one box just to kind of make it a bit easier but it's literally overflowing okay so the first item is this now you're probably thinking Roxy what the hell is this it looks like a mop I'm not gonna lie but it's actually a pillowcase I only got one of these because I felt like it was either gonna be a hit or a miss and I actually kind of wish I got two because this is really cute I'm actually shook this is really nice quality the back of it is like a very silky velvet it's really nice to the touch I'm not gonna lie this texture makes me think of a mop so much. I don't know why, but it's actually really nice. I really like this aesthetic. Perhaps if I got two of these, maybe this would have been too much, but I think as like a accent statement pillow, this would be really nice. This pillowcase is just standard sort of like square size, so it should fit most pillows. Also, I've got to say all their pillowcases that I've ever purchased from Shein, they obviously don't come with the insert, so you have to kind of like find your insert yourself, but the quality of them has always been really, really good. So honestly, I have nothing to complain about here. Now moving on, the next item I see is this. Now I've got to say the box definitely looks like it's had better days. It was really, really squished. I kind of like bent it into shape, but luckily the product inside is all good. So on the front, it says it's a pen holder, but I thought this would be really cute for like makeup brushes or anything like that. So this is what it looks like. It's just a plastic little pen holder, but I thought it was really cute because it actually spins. Although my vanity sort of area has definitely come a long way, it's still quite messy when it comes to like brushes. I've only got like two little wicker baskets for my brushes and I can never really get to any of them at the back. So I thought this would be really nice for either, you know, brushes or lip liners, eyeliners, anything like that. You could honestly put so many things in here. It is pretty spacious, but perhaps it would be more suitable for like smaller brushes, not like super thick face brushes. But yeah, I really like this. There's not really that much to it. It feels quite nice quality. I mean, it's literally just made of plastic, but I'm definitely gonna use this on my vanity now. Okay, the next couple of items Items I'm really looking forward to because I have four neon lights from Shein. I honestly didn't even know they do like neon lights or like lamps or anything like that. So I was shook when I saw these. So this is what the packaging looks like on the front and then on the back, it just basically ticks which one of the designs that this one has inside. So let's go with this one first and see what it's like. This is apparently the moon. I just had an idea to kind of like put lots of little neon lights everywhere in my office area and this is so cute. Now I'm not gonna lie, I do wish that this was a like mains plugged LED, but it's not unfortunately. It does have a little battery holder which takes three batteries. Luckily I have some batteries at hand, so let's just test this out together and hope it works. Okay, so batteries are in, are we ready? <gasps> Wow, look at that, that is so cute. It's actually a pretty bright light as well. Like I'm filming this during the day and you can see it even though it's very light in this room with my studio lighting. This is so cute, I'm honestly obsessed with it. It does have an on and off switch so obviously you can turn it off when you're not using it. And it does have a little like hole so you can kind of attach it to the wall wherever you like. Now I'm really excited to see what the other designs are like. Okay, the next one is Love and this one is slightly bigger as well, it came in like a way longer box. It seems that this one has a battery pack, but also a USB plug, which is really cool because if you were to have this like over your computer or laptop, you can just power it with the USB, which is way better. <gasps> 
Wow! Oh my god, that is such a pretty color too. It's like a hot pink. This is so cute. I can literally imagine it like behind me there or in my office. This is so cute. I'm obsessed. Now, as much as I love the other ones, I think I'm mostly excited for this next design because it actually looks like a little planet. And I feel like these kinds of shapes for neon lights are quite rare. I mean, we always see the very typical like crescent moon, love sign, love heart, all these things, but you never really see this shape for an LED. Are we ready? Ah, it's so cute. Again, it's that same pink kind of color. It looks a lot brighter in person than it does on camera as well with this one. And also I love the fact that the cable is a clear cable rather than a colored one because depending on what like color wall you have, you would really see this. But because it's clear, it's gonna be quite inconspicuous. I think this one is actually my favorite one so far. And the last one is a little cloud. This one is a slightly better quality one again because it's got the USB cable as well as the battery pack. So let's turn this one on. That is so cute. So again, it's got that like orangey yellow kind of light. It is so bright in person. I'm shook. Like the fact that this is battery operated and it's this bright is actually kind of crazy. I absolutely love these. I think this is such a nice way to spruce up your room. If you're not allowed to like hang things on the walls, you could literally like stick these on. They weigh barely anything. So yeah, giving the neon lights a big thumbs up. There were so many different designs as well. Okay, the next item is another piece that is just for decoration. It doesn't really have a purpose. It's just there to look cute and it's this it actually came really really squished and as you guys can probably see It's a little globe I will be very surprised if this isn't broken inside because it looks like it's had better days Okay, let's crack it open. It looked really cute on the website. So I've got high hopes here. Oh <laughs> I mean, it looks like the photo, but it's just so tiny. I mean, I don't know what I expected. The box is so small, but yeah, this is the little globe. I actually really like the look of it, to be honest. I like the gold. I like the fact that the actual like map is a light color rather than dark. This definitely fits my aesthetic down to a T. I'm obsessed with the color scheme. I've always wanted a little globe just to put in my office, just to feel cool. These are so like dark academia or light academia kind of vibes as well. So I really, really like this, even though it's absolutely tiny, but I mean, we barely paid anything for it. So you can't really expect amazing things. The next item I have, is a little artwork, which is very bent. I'm really hoping this isn't gonna cause issues with the actual like print. But from experience, I really, really like the prints from Shein. These actually don't come printed on paper. They come printed on like fabric, which I think looks way more luxurious and like really expensive. Oh yeah, I remember now. Oh my gosh, it's so creased. Okay, I've never had this problem, but like look how creased that is. I don't know if I'll be able to like do anything with it. Hopefully if I like lightly steam it or maybe iron it, it should be okay. As long as I do it through a cloth. I'll keep you guys updated in the comments but hopefully it's not gonna be too hard to get it to be nice and straight. But let's talk about the print anyways. It is actually a really cute print. I really like the line work. I think it's very minimalistic, which is so my aesthetic right now. They had so many amazing prints like this to choose from. They had colorful ones. They had simple ones like this. This was super affordable. It was only about three pounds. So honestly, you just can't go wrong. Now the next item I picked up is a little lamp. This is a shell with a pearl inside kind of lamp. And they actually had this in a few different colors. I went for the white, of course. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little shell lamp. I think this would be really cute for like a kid or maybe for your bedside table. It's very dainty. It probably won't like light up the whole room, but it will probably cast a nice glow. It has got a little like entrance for a battery and an on and off switch. Obviously it doesn't come with batteries inside. And I don't think I actually have the type of battery for this that I need. It looks like it's quite small and there's also a little screw to get in. So I probably won't be able to show you guys how it looks on. But to be honest, this is actually quite cute. If you're a fan of The Little Mermaid, I would get this regardless because it's just giving me Little Mermaid vibes. Okay, the next item, I'm really excited to see what it looks like because in the photo, it looked amazing. I'm so excited. So this is the little packet that it comes in. Let's crack it open together and see how it looks. Okay, so the first thing I see is the base for it and then the rest of it is in here. Oh, this is what it looks like. It looks very um, interesting to say the least. It has got a little USB cable as well. So let's just put it together. I mean, I'm just gonna bend out these branches and hopefully try and get it to 
somewhat resemble the photo. Oh, okay, it's starting to kind of take shape. It's looking a lot better than it did. But basically what you do is you just plug this, oh, I almost poked myself in the eye with one of the branches. Basically what you do is you just push that in. Whoops. Basically what you do is you just push this thing into the base which I'm kind of struggling to do. Okay, maybe it's this way. That would make more sense. Okay, so batteries are in. The on and off button is right there. So let's press it. <gasps> Look! That is so pretty. This is such a cute decoration. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of like the silver branches, but you could totally like spray paint this or something and make it a different color. I think they did actually have different options. I think they had this color and maybe like a rose gold one as well, but I went for the silver. I actually really, really like this. It looked like it was gonna be really, really bad when I first pulled out the packet, but now that it's like, all put together, I actually really like this. Now the next item is not really homeware related, it's more of a gadget, but I really needed one of these. And when I saw it on Shein, I was like, do you know what? This is really affordable. I might as well just get it and try it. It's actually a little ring light for your phone. So if you're a TikToker, if you're an Instagram reeler, honestly, anything like that, this would be really great because I have a tripod for my camera, but I don't have one for my phone. So whenever I like film reels or TikToks, I really struggle with like where to put my phone. But this is how it's arrived. It's taped together. I'm guessing this is gonna be the tripod and obviously that's the ring light. So this is what the ring light looks like. I must say it's actually a really decent size. And then the tripod is here. This is the thing that could really make it or break it for me. Cause if it's not tall enough, it's not really suitable for the type of TikTok I want to film. Okay, so this is how the tripod looks. It actually goes pretty tall. Like if I was to put this on the ground and film like a full body TikTok, this would actually be tall enough, which is great. Okay, so I've assembled everything together and this is how it looks. It's actually pretty good. I would say that this part here that kind of holds the phone is a little bit flimsy. I mean, I can definitely work with it, but it's not as accurate as I would have liked it to be because it's not very bendable. But I mean, if you're a beginner and you wanna just get something really inexpensive to try as a tripod and a ring light, I think this would be a really good choice. Okay, moving on, the next two products are actually towel related. They're for the bathroom or the kitchen. Honestly, I really, really like these. The first one is actually for your hair. So I absolutely despise washing my hair. It's just such a long and tedious process. So anything that can make it a little bit more bearable and cute, I am down for. So the first item is this. It's a little like hair towel to dry your hair after you've washed it. I've had multiple towels like this that have like a little button on the end, like one of those twist ones, but the button always seems to fall off. So instead I got this little teddy bear one that actually comes on an elastic instead of like a button. So let's just quickly put it to the test. I'm just gonna put it over my hair. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute. So obviously I wouldn't have dry hair and I wouldn't put it over like this. I would put my hair into it to dry it, but it is so cute. This is literally exactly what I needed. I haven't had a proper working hair towel in the longest time, so I'm really excited for this. And then the next towel item is a hand towel, but it's probably the cutest hand towel I think I've ever seen. How freaking adorable. I realize that it kind of looks like a little like, kid's toy or something. You know, like the little kid toys that you can get that are like soft and cuddly and kind of like a blanket. This is basically that, but it's a hand towel. Like on the website, it was full on a hand towel. I mean, just look at it. It's got little feet. It's got this little face here. It is adorable and it takes so little space as well. This probably wouldn't be suitable for like a kitchen or a family bathroom where like everyone is using it because it would get wet and drenched pretty quick because it's quite small. But for like a downstairs toilet, I think this would be really cute. So I'm really, really happy with it. All right, the next three items are actually kitchen related. I absolutely love a kitchen gadget that makes like drying dishes or washing dishes easier because I just hate it. It's like my worst chore around the house. So I found this and this is called the Blade Brush Knife and Cutlery Cleaning Brush. This is literally the most simple way to clean your cutlery. You literally just push it back and forth through this. I mean, I'm trying to put my fingers in and it's actually pretty tight in there. So I think this would definitely do a good job at cleaning your cutlery. I hate how like cleaning cutlery and forks and stuff always ruins my sponges. So this is gonna be perfect. And it's actually a really smart design. It's quite small. I can just put 
it by the sink and I'm ready to go. I'm so happy with this. The next item I got is a really funky looking one and it's this. It kind of looks like a lint roller, I'm not gonna lie, but this is actually for cleaning your glasses. Cleaning glasses is my least favorite thing. Again, my hands are quite small so I can never really reach all the way in and a lot of the glasses I own are quite thin at the top. So unless you put them through the dishwasher, they don't get clean and even then they still sometimes don't get clean in the dishwasher. So this is basically just a little tool to get in there when you're doing your dishes. Gone are the days of me trying to like shove a sponge in and trying to like twirl it around in the glass when I've got this now. <laughs> Again, I know this is super simple and probably a lot of you already own something like this, but honestly to me, this is a revelation. And the last item for the kitchen I got is this. It's a tiny little dustpan and brush. I just couldn't not get this. This actually came in multiple different colors. I got the pink of course, and I just think it's so cute. But aside from being cute, I actually think I will get a lot of use out of this because whenever I'm cooking and I cut like cauliflower or any kind of veg, it literally goes everywhere. So having something like this for like the counter to just, you know, brush off any of the excess of veg is great. But also I thought this would be really useful for our van conversion. If you guys haven't been keeping up with the vlogs, Matt and I are doing a whole like van conversion. So obviously in a van, it's kind of like a tiny home. You don't really want to put like so much junk in it. So having little things like this that are useful is definitely a good way to go. And now the last two items of the video are kind of more like organizational things. The first thing is this. It doesn't look like an awful lot and when I opened it I was like what is this? And then I realized it's actually the laptop holder. So basically this is for your bed. You put this piece of fabric underneath your mattress and then this kind of hangs down the side of your bed and it's kind of just like a little compartment for your laptop or any other little bits that you want to put if you don't have a bedside table. The way our bed is positioned is that I have like some space on the bedside but my fiance's side is up against the wall so there's like literally nowhere to put like anything, a drink, laptop, nothing. So I thought this would be really useful for him so that he can like put his laptop in or phone or whatever. It's literally just made from felt, like there's not that much to it. It seems pretty good quality. However, it is a little bit bent. So I'm gonna have to like bend it back into shape. But yeah, I just thought this was really useful. It was very inexpensive. So, you know, I thought why not? And the very last item I have is this. This is a little travel digital bag. That's what they call it on here. Whenever I travel anywhere, which obviously hasn't been an awful lot in the last year or so. I usually travel with so much equipment, so many cables, chargers, everything because obviously I'm filming content for you guys even when I'm on holiday so I thought this would be really really useful to have. It looks like this on the inside. It has three little compartments that you can kind of configure into whatever shape you want. It has little like mesh slots as well so you could put like SD cards in. It's got these. I just felt like I needed to organize my life once and for all and get ready for when we're allowed to travel again. So I've put the little compartments in in this configuration. Obviously you could have whatever configuration you want but yeah I just thought this was a really cute bag it looks pretty nice on the outside and it's quite spacious so it will definitely do the trick all right guys so that is everything for today's homeware haul from Shein I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got to see what kind of things and gadgets you can get on there I'm actually really happy with everything I picked up in this video I'm so excited to get to use the hair towel I think my favorite thing from the whole video is either the pillowcase or the LED signs personally speaking I've had a really good experience with purchasing homeware off of Shein it's always really affordable and the quality is actually actually pretty decent. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Come and join the dinosaur family by hitting the red button down below. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.